laws. Sonoma State University in California, which is a sanctuary state, is set to host an event this week to teach students how to counter our laws being enforced. Here now to react is a student at the school and correspondent for campusreform.org, Gennaro Tapia. Thank you for joining us this morning. What is your reaction when you heard that this was going to happen? You know, uh, the reaction that I have, uh, I also share with lots of students on campus who know about this, and it's very outrageous. You know, it's outrageous that the school is using student fees um, to help pay for such programs that um, totally circumvent federal law. Well, Gennaro, I, you know, it, it sounds like you have some friends that are taking this class, that are in this class. Are they aware that ICE raids are predominantly uh, taken out against people that are here illegally and also committing crimes in the country? I mean, that's, you know, always been the way these have gone. Even under President Obama, we get rid of criminal illegal aliens. Are they aware of that? You know, I can't speak for them, but I do know for a fact that they are very well aware of what it is that they're doing, and they seem to be okay with it. And, you know, that's just an attitude that um, is very displayed well here in California and as well as in this uh, particular area of the state. I want to read a portion of this uh, event description from the Facebook page, and it says, quote, make a difference in your community by standing up to hostility towards immigrants. Terms of legal document immigration raids happening in their neighborhood so that civil rights violations can be used to build a case against deportation. And in that Facebook page uh, for this, you know, group, the North Bay Rapid Response Network that's going to be teaching part of this course, you know, I went onto their website and on their website there's a video of instructions of what to do if immigration agents are at your door. I just am not sure I'm understanding why students need this information on a campus. You know, you're absolutely correct. I don't know either, but um, somehow the school seems that our student fees should be used to uh, teach other students on how to circumvent federal law and how to uh, um, skirt uh, law in general. So I, I don't know why the school should be doing this. Well, General, I want to ask you a question. I mean, you know, this, this is so interesting to me because the policy here on immigration really hasn't changed at all when you look at President Trump yeah. or President Obama. I mean, the, the policy is pretty much the same. Uh, they were both deporting criminal illegal aliens, and all of a sudden there has just been this explosion of concern for these people mm -hmm. under President Trump. What changed? Is it just his rhetoric that has people so scared? Because in reality, it's not any different. Yeah, I believe it's the rhetoric that has been spread by Donald Trump that has made uh, these people fear for um, ICE and immigration raids. And you know, Yeah, and, and people seem to just ignore that, and yeah. it just fascinates me. It really does. Absolutely, yeah. It's very sad, and, and you know, it's very sad other school to use student fees while uh, you know we're all taking student loans, so we're in debt, and the school is using this money to pay for such programs that um, definitely encourage people to circumvent the law. All That's right. right. Gennaro, thank you for joining us. Thank you. All right, 47 minutes after the